Quit playing with stuff. All right. For real this time. Welcome to Cybercast, episode 194 of the Transform Action Figure Podcast Show. My name is Josh. I'll send you to Hextron. And just go left to right like you did last time. Where can people find you and what's your name? Mike. First, okay, just, sorry. Just, I just like we did last time. Just like oh. we did five minutes ago. <laughs> I am Mike, and you can find me on Twitter as BotConfane1978. All right. I'm Chris. You can find me at YouTube at Barrett Prime and on Facebook. I'm Dalton. You can find me everywhere at Daltonians TFs. And I'm Rick. I'm on Twitter, Shatterglass Jazz. And you can find me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, G1Xtron, and Facebook page, The G1Xtron. So, all right, again, with the announcement, uh, if you want to send your photos in of your collection for Collection Spotlight, take those photos and whatever you want to be called, send it into an email at me at G1Xtron at gmail.com. Next uh, Cybercast uh, in two weeks, on the 28th, we're going to be having P.I. on uh, again. He's going to be talking about TFCon, his experience there. Then at a later date, I'm going to be trying to get uh, Bold Forms on a uh, third-party company, Bold Forms, to talk about general third-party questions you m guys might have. or We're going to try to answer as many things as possible and also talk about their previous products and some of their upcoming stuff as well. All right. Let's hope uh, this all works this time. All right. Are you looking at an ugly combiner? Yep. Okay. Let's see. Are the other people... All right. I'm not. I've seen this logo. Yeah, All I'm right. not seeing it. Oh, you got to be kidding me, guys. I'm seeing it. I, can I see it. it. Yeah, I can't see it. All right, we'll just, I guess, refresh. Okay, so Cameron says he sees the Dinobot combiner. All right, so starting off with the Hasbro stuff, we'll get into some Takara and then uh, some third-party and action figure news. Uh, this was at... Uh, what was this? Uh, New York Comic Con. And there's just a, a lot of pictures of this, so I'm just going to kind of skim through them. But what are your initial thoughts of the combined mode? I like these guys individually. Uh, combined mode, I hope they didn't take away from the individual modes so that they could put this thing together, but that's my personal opinion. I mean, I mean it's... It could be worse. It could be power core combiners. I mean, I'm not seeing so. it right now, but I know what it looks like in the combined mode. Looks like garbage. <laughs> I don't uh, like it at all. The individuals, I love combined yeah. mode. I don't like it. Well, it, it. Here's something that a lot of people that are complaining about. I don't realize is you don't have to combine it. Yeah, that's true. You don't. I mean, and I'll buy it strictly for the individuals. That that's I want to buy it strictly for individuals. Like, but like I said earlier, that I don't. I hope they didn't take away from the individuals yeah. because they wanted to do this. Uh, if you guys are still having a problem, then you might want back out and then like join again or refresh your screen or something. Okay, I'll try that again then because I'm still right. seeing that one. Yeah, I will oh, too. Because everybody else is seeing it, so. All right, uh, take a look at the Terracons. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love Ripper Snapper. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite out of the uh, Terracons. The only thing... Look at all that paint! <laughs> Is it going to have all that paint? Oh, man, you wish. <laughs> oh, look at how shiny he looks. I know. <laughs> Maybe they just hit them all with a clear coat. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I can see now. Oh, you can see it. D look how beautiful Ripper Snapper looks. You know, um, I don't know what I missed what y'all were talking about. I had no interest whatsoever in this combiner set until I saw these pictures. Then I'm like, holy crap, I have to buy these. Yeah. Maybe not for the combined mode. I'll be more of a uh, individual kind of guy on these, you know, the characters. Because they look really... That one right there, boy, they look really good in robot mode. Yeah, well, I, I'm, gl I'm glad they got the names, like their actual names, because you, you wouldn't expect Hasbro to use cutthroat for 
targeted at children these days. <laughs> Why? Why? They're, they're, they're more subjective to stuff today than they were back in the 80s, so it didn't bother us when, in the 80s. Why would it bother them now? People are overly it's the new America, man. New America. I'm yeah, glad they, 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 I like that they kept like the silly, uh, the G1 um, creature modes. Like they're kind of shitty, and I like them like that. <laughs> the the hey, robot hey, modes hey. look amazing, but I'm really <laughs> glad that they kept like the creature modes what's, simplistic. And what's funny is some of these are retools of the Dinobots. That's what's funny about these. Oh, really? Uh, Cutthroat's got a few parts used from Swoop, and Sinner Twin is reused from uh, Snarl. Mm -hmm. See, look, look at all this paint. Look with the eyes and the horns. and the... I, think, like, I think, honestly, Hasbro is at the point where they know where they're not being an actual club. They've got to step their game up mm -hmm. for collectors, I think. I mean, because you're right. There is a lot, even in the grotesque and the RC, they did really well on those as far as paint apps. But Except for a couple people who got some pretty sad looking ones. But I mean, they definitely like, stepped their game up. I mean, like, even if yeah. you go back to like, look at Trypticon, man, this, this stuff is really awesome. The stuff they're doing now is, is really good. Uh, the hunger, look, his head sculpt, dude, that's so G1. Yeah, I mean, they took the G1 head and they just put it on this guy. That's how close yeah. it is. And then he's using you're using parts and engineering from Silverbolt too. Yeah, I was just fixing to say that how it's damn near a Silverbolt. Look, quit trying to run it for me, okay? Don't. <laughs> okay, well then we'll go with um, stop the behind the magic. Shot, behind the shot, shot. <laughs> shot. We'll, we'll go with scatter shots. Then. How's that? Make you feel better. Uh, I love all the paint. Now, now, let me put my own stickers on there, please. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. Why? It, it would be cheaper for the, them to well, just you're right. it, would, them on. it would be, but that's not what they're going to do. They're going to send it to you with all the stickers on it. Well, if they do, then make sure they're straight, just like they are on this one. Fat chance. <laughs> you're ruining it for them. Got to have a few wrinkles in there just to frustrate your ass when you open it up. <laughs> <laughs> the the only thing that's weird is all of them come with different colored hands for the combiner. Oh, so yeah, gonna, yeah. I don't so care. Not... Someone will do a, a you know, third party, their, yeah, thing, and I'll, I'll pick that up. Uh, plot. He was the crappiest one out of the G ones because he was, he just was. A fat. Stocky dude, not that there's yeah. anything wrong with fat, stocky dude, you know. That's right, because you know, we know people who are fat and stocky. Yeah, let's <laughs> have the cast. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Damn it! I knew I should have shut I would just, I would just like to say I'm big boned. <laughs> no, Rick, no sugarcoat this shit. We're fat. This place is man. I also fat. My veins are popping out my legs now. Oh, damn. Yeah, but finally a block that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. And it, we finally know what he is now. He's an ogre. Uh, you can see the uh, dive bombs wings back here. Oh. Nice. So well, that was kind of like a preview. Yeah, I was like, so they didn't show nothing for them at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, that, that was pretty much it, is the wings. dive bomb wings there. They got to yeah. keep something for Toy Fair. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there's that like two hundred dollar deluxe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm actually kind of regretting I didn't buy it now. But you know, like Dakota said, it'll be a Toys R Us before you know it. Yeah, I'll get it then. Yep, twenty five dollars. Is anyone else disappointed in the box for an exclusive of Hasbro? <clears throat> I don't. Care. I'm I'm disappointed in the fact that you can't repackage it like for you know traveling. You know, like if you're moving or for resale. That's the only thing I'm disappointed about it. Yeah. I, I I like the pre I like the presentation of it, but I just don't like the way it's packaged. You know. I like it because I can rip the card out and throw the box away. There you go. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. I threw my yeah. box away. RC I don't need trash. It. Yeah. I mean, if they had put the logo like right there, the background on the front of the box, it been I'd like it. See now, look at this one here. We're talking about paint apps. 
this one here, it had a lot of great paint apps on it, man. They did. Like I said, Hasbro stepping their game up for, I think, towards the collector. Yeah, this one looks like the car. I mean, if they're only sli- right. if they're only you know retooling stuff, it, I think they should like give us some extra paint. You know, like that's that's good. Yeah, all they gotta do now is color the rims, and we're, we're squared away, right? Right. If, if they do that, man, I don't know. I might be buying them a, a Christmas gift or something. If they start doing all the rims, yeah. let me tell you what. All the other thing they need to figure out is to make sure that their their figures aren't like. Loose is a two dollar. Yeah, yeah. Like this Takara cup I got is freaking awesome. It doesn't jiggle at yeah. all. Uh, Cameron said that they uh, specifically said that Predaking will be shown in February. Oh, yep. okay. That's uh, nice, nice little wind charger here. You know, we'll be getting a tailgate as well. I, I, the fa- the face on it. I mean, everyone's yeah. been uh, the whole Queen album. What? What's wrong with the face? <laughs> yeah, just so bland and just kind of like. Eh. Well, it was yeah. a boring toy. It was a boring toy anyway. Yeah, but a cool toy. It, he just got that face. Be... He just got that face. that's like kill me now. I would have preferred to have the G one versus this one. Oh, I I, I like this. I, I like yeah, their little like much. I do too. I like reveal it. the shield. Yeah, I never did. I never saw a huffer pipes uh, in my area, so I never got those. Uh, they're reissuing this guy. There's nothing Scrap, different about Scrap Noll or Scrap Noll. Mm. I think no, there's nothing different. No, he just doesn't come for Minicon. Right. No. They're just coming out with them again. And I, I know Rick and I, we love these yeah. landmine. I, mm-hmm. I'm going to get all these little pretender shell guys. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. I, they're they're wow. actually my favorite part. They're my favorite part of anything that's happening. Oh, yep. well, well, just the whole thing with the, the primes and the symbols of the primes and everything, too. Just. I already I already like the Titans, but then now when I can put my Titans inside the upper tender shell, <laughs> just have I'm sorry. Optimus Prime in his own Matrix. <laughs> it's pretty. Awesome. I, I like that they turn into like little Target Masters too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's really that's, added, that's a nice little added feature. Uh, what what's this, this guy named? Some kind of Rodimus Unicron or something? Oh, that's that's just, that's just, Let's just shine glass on. hot rod. Come on. There you go. Call us yeah. Space. Space. Come on. Shatter Come glass. on, John Warden. I'm calling you out. That's yeah. glass. That's shattered glass. I, I laughed so I laughed so hard when I seen that too. Just well, this is a shattered glass Rodimus. Yeah, yeah sure, Come whatever. On. Hasbro think of it. Well, all I know is that this one needs to come with uh, Autobot stickers. Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Or if I'm they, not sure they, if, they probably, if if they don't, then they need someone yeah. will give us some stickers we can relabel. Can, 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 can I just get the little guy? <laughs> the yeah, little, just yeah, the hot red. Yeah, just the other guy. I don't want that big old thing on my shelf. Well, you know what? Look back at the little guy. He doesn't have the uh, mustache. <laughs> So you would have to go yeah. with the big one to get the true. Well, I don't want shatter. it. Gotta have that. Man, he looks little... straight up out of the village, people. He looks amazing. <laughs> I was going to say, he looks kind of like uh, Randy Savage a little bit with the mustache. I'm telling you, well, they... that looks good. Is oh, Hold on a second. Go back to that, Josh. That is an Autobot logo on there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah they Even get on the trailer. Out. That's strange. I wonder if they come with stickers or that's just... Something stupid they're doing. It looks like it's a like well, a cheap looking reflective looking sticker. Yeah, they're the same foil stickers that we've been getting. Uh, oh, what's funny? Terrible. What's funny is that like what the renders with Swoop, his renders were the diaclone colors, and then the actual one's going to be blue or you know, the original toy Hasbro toy colors. Whereas now he's going to be cartoon toys. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be how it's the final. Mm. If I buy this one, that's how it's going to be displayed, just like that. Mm-hmm. Right behind my, or right in front of my YMCA now, record. Now, now we know this is Dakota's toy of the year. The, oh, you know, this is his no. favorite toy this year. Oh, my God. No. 
No, it's going to be a third no, party it tour. It won't be. It'll be one of those MP beasts, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be uh, Optimus Primal. I thought, didn't Cheetor do? Oh, I, thought yeah. Cheetor, I thought MP Cheetor was due like this month or something. Another one? Box. Box, not monkey. Or not Cheetor. What's the Dinobot? Dinobot. I thought, isn't he coming out sometime before Christmas or no? We yet. haven't seen anything. We haven't seen official uh, images okay. or anything. So Probably it'll not. still be it'll still be one of those two. Look, look at this. I, I like this that you could put like a little Titan Master guy. It yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't can, know if it can't wait for or not. Can't wait for tailgate. Yeah, I just have I have my MP on nine. B, my black one that have never transformed. See, see, I, I was kind of hoping for like lost, you know, for those who read the comics, the lost light colors for this. Blue, but yeah, the blue and the purple. But yeah. I'm not sure. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Sub Marauder and uh, or was it um, Gilmer, Gilmer and uh, Metal Hog. Metal Hog, yeah. Dude, dude, I love them. I like how he like because he see how it comes a little trident here, yeah. dude. That's yeah. so awesome. I I too am probably I'm I'm a, I love the Terracons, and I think the Dinobots are pretty pretty cool, you know. Except for the combined mode, which I don't, I don't really care about that. But this is the uh, other thing that I think is so cool about these. They actually have more paint on them than I thought they would. I thought they'd go really. I thought they'd go like full Hasbro on these and just like two colors. No. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they look like that when we get them. He said, "What they retail them for? Uh, Five dollars." Yeah. Fair enough. They're they're the same price as the Titan Masters with their little vehicles. Yeah, those are stupid. But the the locks the locks and up is all going up a little bit. I mean, it's Every, not really. Everything goes up. Every time you turn around, something goes up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about these uh, little Titan Master Pretender Shell guys. Uh, this is a uh, Hasbro at the moment. I love the fact, like the ones, the ones that, like for Metal Hawk and Landmine, they actually have the little opening for the Prime Master face. Uh, Cameron brings up a good point. He says, "I just hope they don't pull the same bait and switch that they did with Titans Returns. Wave One had more paint, uh, than ever, and Wait. then afterwards, they went full Hasbro." Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never go full Hasbro. Oh no, man! Uh, they they do often. Uh, yeah, there, there's those uh, dive bomb wings. That's Can't wait to see that. Nice, yeah. And all right, <laughs> there. All right, uh, we've already seen these pictures. They kind of doubled up on a little, a few of them. But uh, there's kind of a, a back shot of a uh, cut through. I like how they got the sweets on the table. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I mentioned too that it was a good idea to go with the candy corns because no one's like stealing those to eat them off the table. Like, <laughs> if they would have put like Reese's cups or something like that, then dude, they'd have to refresh that candy display like every five minutes. I'd swallow them like a duck. I just wouldn't care. Just drop kick in the kids' can by get off is mine. <laughs> I like how they uh, keep the combiner ports on the back for the beast modes and some of the robot modes. Jonathan says the QC on the recent Titans Returns waves uh, keeps getting worse. Have you guys been experiencing any like QC issues and stuff like that? Nothing lately. No. I don't know any. Probably, probably just got bad luck. Yeah, I, I don't think I've really experienced anything like that. Most most of mine are Takara, but the Hasbro ones that I do have, which which is I don't know three, they're pretty good. All 
I'm sure that's up for pre-order. So you should be able to just look at the pre-order date. If you, you just go to just any online store. I'm kind of kind of a nice look there, at, you know, with the shield, what he's gonna look like in torso mode. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just need to track down a. Just need to track down a Takara Computron now. Nice yeah, I need to do that too. So, what's he? Is he not gonna have the uh, little antennas or ears or whatever? I I hope he does. I mean, it'd be kind of stupid if he didn't. I, I'm trying to figure out, like, because I it'd probably see be like, something it'd... here. I wish they, they would have turned it a little bit so we could see a little bit better with the head. But it looks like there would be something I, I, that like, maybe pops up or something. Yeah, kind of like with uh, Superion, how they just fold up. Hopefully it's solid mm. plastic. I like the the face sculpt. I just he needs his antenna ears. Mm -hmm. Well, there was that one image that was leaked for the uh, instructions. I bet you yeah, it shows that on the... there. All right, I got that up here too. We'll look at that when we get there, and we'll see if it's on there or not. Uh, I think all the cards. Voyagers come with the little enigmas. For the other oh, year. God, he has, really has to work to get that matrix chamber open. That's what I was thinking, man. Man, that's a lot of work. Yeah, once it goes in there, I'm not <laughs> I'm the type of person once I get it set correctly, I I probably won't touch it for a couple of years. <laughs> How much you want to imagine that they're going to do this with the Optimus Prime to make another Shattered Glass Prime? Oh, look at this. The so, uh, the, like this part right here, it pushes in, and then they push out here. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, that's cool. So, oh, okay, I see. It out, this pushes out while this pushes in, and then whenever you go back, uh, you know, you put it back into its, I don't know, dragon mode or whatever. You push in here, and then pop out the top so okay. you can kind of see there that's, that's, yeah, that's, there it is right there. that's cool yeah this, this is just another one of those another one of those lines i'm just all in for oh god Hmm. What are you talking about? Gabe plays games. All right, get the uh, official images here. If I ever pull up. What's up, Blitzwing 5000 here? Sick. He, he's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like the little Wolverine claws. I think he was my favorite as far as the G1 as well. There's a couple of them have a claws like that, aren't there? Yeah. yeah I, think, I think Blot does. Yeah. Or, or cut through one of them. Got all the little paint, all the little tampas that they're gonna have on that. <laughs> I'm expecting uh, all this paint. Once again, looking looking at uh, Kethra, I'm wondering if we're gonna get Monstructor. Or from, at if least they... Dino King from Takara. If they do, I want a box set, and I want all the little pretender shells, like the bristle back and all that stuff. So I want like all Let's that see. in a box set. See what what was the um, same with the okay, 
he he looked like blood, but he was kind of like this weird like wolf thing. I, what was it? I can't remember. I, I don't know. I didn't pay much attention to him. Uh, the Dino King. I, I like the Dino King. I would want the Dino King mm -hmm. over the Monstructor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they also had different uh, little plastic things or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Shells. Dinosaur shells. Yep. These uh, They're going to combine, but they, they don't have any uh, pictures of it combined at the moment, so kind of i guess leaking it out slowly which is which is cool that's fine with me this is enough enough to get excited over i almost kind of want to buy two sets to have them individually and then combine because <laughs> this was i think one of my favorite combiners i, I love the season the three there you go stuff. season three yeah. and Japan yeah. stuff. Uh, to be honest, I like it more than season one and two. I, I know that like there's a lot of Transformer fans out there, like hardcore G ones, that they're like season one and season two, and then that's it. Yeah. You know? Oh no, not me. I like like Predaking and Abominus. Those are <laughs> that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not though. See, I, I, I wonder if uh, the car is gonna just. Put this right back under their Unite Warriors name. Yeah, there's no die cast. And so there's just, you know, the pictures of him again. So you're getting him reissued. And official images of, uh, you know, these guys here. See, Jonathan here agrees with me. He says he he prefers season three over one and two. I I like I like the bright colors, man. Mm -hmm. It's getting into that late eighties, early nineties. Now this with uh, this being Vector Prime, I like the little nod that they gave with the gears and kind of like clockwork yeah. to mm. it. Yeah. I don't know how that has anything to do with. I don't I don't care about the little stuff on the back. It's all about just putting a dude in that shell. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I could care less what the, the little back of them looks like. Yeah. There's there's your boy. <laughs> It's fabulous. The most popular transformer of the of the week. And he he still has the same pouty face that he, the original had. And nobody knew who he was two weeks ago. <laughs> see what see these images have him with the Decepticon symbol. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. I wonder if they it comes with both then. Uh, where's the paint on those rims, though? <laughs> <laughs> those look cheap. Yeah. That looks real exactly. cheap. Exactly. Especially with this, this Come on. coming through here. Uh, look at that ugliness. <laughs> they do need to fix that. Evil doesn't have time for black rims. Dakota, Dakota's going to give me a Sharpie in my stocking this year. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Just one, one of those. Oh, it looks like it does fit them. Yeah, Gabe says reminds me of Pine, cool. Pinewood Derby car wheels. Yeah. <laughs> He's got those T-tops. The Pinewood Derby car. Actually, what else? It's got the little pin where the wheel goes into. Love yep. it. I guess I still have a, a picture of mine. I don't still have that. Yeah, so someone mentioned that they should have just came out with the Insecticons as a three pack, you know. Yeah. I love this. I love this artwork. The Ronimus uh, uh, has his name on his knees. No, oh, yeah. Dude, this brings me back to G one. You see all these like pretenders in their action poses, but they couldn't do nothing but just stand, stand straight. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, look how you dynamic look at- they look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna get some crazy poses out of this guy. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Jonathan asked who the artist is that was doing that artwork. Didn't think so, somewhere I heard like Marcelo or something like that. Yeah, but remember Robbie Musso or, said he was doing yeah, some, he, of yeah. them, some of them. He did a uh, he did Star Screen. Mm-hmm. From Rob, I believe he said he did Star Screen. All and right, there so, was stuff he said he couldn't mention all the time. Here we get the uh, I, I call them ears. I don't know what technically they are. But, antennas. Uh, Antenna ears, Antenna. whatever. <laughs> um, so we, we see it on the, kind of a side packaging art there. So I'm going to go with, I assume that we, we are going to get them. And then it looks like uh, you're going to have a big Alita. Out of a star screen. Is that star screen mold? Yeah, star screen. He's got jazz on the leg. Uh, and... Cameron was asking, you know, who the one on the right was. Now, uh, Dalton, you had something you said about what you thought uh, it was. Yeah, in in the leak that happened, you know, a couple months ago, they showed in Wave Three that we're going to be getting Inferno, and that the some then later on someone leaked that information saying that it's going to look like Road Caesar when it's combined, or at least a little bit like Road Caesar. I was uh, hearing it was going to be G two Defense or. Colors. Plus, it's the same thing. I don't remember Caesar. Well, I uh, they I want them to do some more stuff to make it a, a road Caesar. Well, yeah, but I mean, at least the way that they're coloring it, it's going to look somewhat like road Caesar. <clears throat> and then uh, this is cool. Kind of see the little combine mode here. Yeah, adrenaline looks good. <laughs> Especially for a, what was it air raid or no skydive repaint retool? Well, what's his name? It's not Dreadwing. Which it's Dreadwind. Dreadwind. If I'm right, all these pictures he's showing in the first case assortment. Yeah. Yeah, because I got all orders in for uh-huh. that. Yeah, this is jazz. Yeah, you can keep your jazz. Just repaint it as Braver. There we go. Swoop look good. Oh, <laughs> don't, you don't, don't forget. Uh, just wait for the San Diego Comic Con five pack or whatever where they're, they chrome them out. Remember that. Have them all in diaclone colors. <laughs> I'll probably just get the, the standard ones. Yeah. God, they, they look like dino riders with all this like little extra stuff on them. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, nothing about a dino king yet. All right, so uh, this is officially licensed by Hasbro. So a little three pack here. Little uh, foam. Oh yeah, this is a like crowdfunding thing that the, that Hasbro and Takara did. Who thinks this is even a good idea? Apparently, uh, like it rings too to let you know you're getting a call. So like it interacts with your phone. But I'm like, why do I need two things in my pocket ringing to let me know that I'm getting a call? Like <laughs> you, you would have your phone on you too. It just it just goes back to those like device label things like the little flash drive cassettes and blaster being the USB thing. Oh, that was stupid too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got their little stands. I couldn't be least interested in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be good target practice. 
Dude, I, I here's the thing is I think people in America are probably looking at this and be like, you know, why why on earth would I need that? This yeah. is probably gonna sell out in Japan and be like crazy, like you know, collected. Just like buggy eyes, buggy eyes little kids. They love it. All right, a uh, couple couple of statues. Imaginarium art. Here's their uh, sky warp. Look how look how, look how shiny, man. Yeah. Mm. Nice What's up, Sportivus? They're trying to be uh, play at sky with this. Hey, they've got some nice looking statues. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Uh, Imaginarium and M3. Dude, look how look how big this thing is. That's huge. What's with everybody always wearing these little masks over uh, over there? Like, do they just walk around coughing on each other all the time? Apparently, they got some kind of infectious disease. They got an outbreak over there. All the time. Apparently, it's so. Like, it's like a mark of uh, like respect. Like, if you're coughing or like um, you sort of ill, is you wear that even if it's just a slight little cough. Oh, well, well see, not in America. We cough on each other all the time. Well, no, I just cover my mouth. Uh, like, I, I just thought that was always normal. Just cover your mouth. I, instead of walking around like you're one of the Cobra Troopers, you know, got that little black <laughs> mask. For you. you just we need the blue a, helmet. We don't really give a shit over you. We're just like sharing is caring. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sharing is caring. <laughs> Uh, let's see what Dude, I don't want to see you drop that from ten feet. <laughs> One land on me and crush me. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, and E three, or I'm um, sorry, not E three. Uh, three A. Squeaks with his bodyguards. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I never did see the squeaks toy. Like the deluxe one, never saw it. Uh, I did, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah not, right. like, not right. that I would have bought it, but I'd never saw it. We got like four of them at our thought. Walmart. Saw it nearly puked. No, oh, that's gross. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. <laughs> that's the first thing in <laughs> <laughs> uh, these don't look bad, but again, no transform. No bueno. For wanting to make a transformer figure, uh, does it transform? No. no. All yeah, right. That's kind of, we'll that's kind of that's kind of like uh, McFarlane's action figures don't do nothing. <laughs> they they didn't when they first started uh, this new series. Uh, here is Prime One Studios, a little bit different uh, Magnus here. See, I, I'd love to see a, a series with this design in mind. You know, just kind of like a mix between Prime and G1. Mm -hmm. Every time he shows up, you need like a million particle effects and a lens flare. Sure. Prime One loves that. Oh, yeah, I know. You see it all I here. Just, like, I see the eyes are lit up. I don't know if that's legit or if that's just another one of their effects. Just imagine the Terminator theme just start playing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in the hopper. I think there's one more statue thing. Oh, come on, where is it? Where is it? All right, we'll go to this one. Let me 
just click on a bunch of these and refresh them. <laughs> so I'm like, like they're still loading up. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let me let me go here then. Uh, all right, Takara. Beast Wars stuff. What? Nah, man. All right, so this is gonna be coming with a uh, sea spray. Was it a lion or something like that? One of the Lani. One of the, Lani. <laughs> one of the individual. <laughs> Headmasters I'm, like Shuffler. I'm reading it right here. It says Lani. <laughs> See, I think it's yeah. the inter it's the internet company messing with them because or with messing with me because <laughs> I chewed them out the last time he called. Told them, take me off the no call list. They're like, but you're you're our customer. I was like, exactly. Take me off your call list. You call me every week trying to upgrade my internet. I paid a hundred bucks for this stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Starbucks, tell them they need to upgrade their internet. My cybercast, <laughs> my cybercast is running slow. Uh yeah, I need to I need to find the hats, bros. Uh C spray. Just about four of them. How much would it be to ship? I, can, I, can I, I, don't need the I don't need the package. I can just I can cover shipping. All right, we'll we'll, we'll talk about it next Thursday when I get paid. Yeah. I thought I'd see them this weekend. Uh, oh, see, I'm still looking for a Twin Twist and Windblade. So. Those are the only two I'm after right now. All right, and uh, this one's going with uh, Twin Twist. That's nice. Uh, which one was it that came with Spoilsport originally? Was it Point Blank or Crosshairs? I think it was cross Crosshairs. And we've got uh, some verses uh, in another tab where it shows the Hasbro compared next to Takar side by side. Nice. I, I'm happy with my Hasbro. I don't necessarily. I, I kind of like with these. I'm like, he wasn't a target master, so I really don't need him to be a target master. I, the way I see yeah. that, with the way they're going with this, is they're probably going to release them later. But why release the target master partner now? That's just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was, was kind of all in until recently, and I'm starting to not get. I don't know. I don't need them all. It just that just what you said, Josh, makes sense. Like it wasn't part of it. I don't know. It looks far. It doesn't really go with it. I don't really need it. And plus, that I thought the Hasbro one was perfect. Yeah, I, I really like it. I like the the idea that you know the two the two guns that are similar and stuff like that. So yeah, I was happy with the Hasbro. I don't need a target master f for a character that was not a target master. Uh, and, and you know, I, 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 like I said, I canceled the Takara ha um, Hot Rod and Cup as well, just because like I saw that I was gonna have to do like this other buying stuff for Scourge and. Yeah. Blur or something. I was like, yeah, you know what? I just won't do those. I'll just do the Japanese, you know, headmasters and target masters. And uh, they uh, it looks like they just swapped the colors, kind of. Or no, there's some different molding as well. Yeah, I, I don't think any of the target masters share the same tooling. I mean, some of it looks a little similar, but on 
recoil and fire bolt, they're both totally different. I, I, I still think that uh, the top spin and twin twist, those are a couple of the, the better figures in the Titans yeah. return line. Yeah, Char mm -hmm. maybe not character wise, like people are like, you know, who are the heck are they? Right. Uh, they no. Yep. I hear you. That so I think t Twin Twist is still in my figure of the year so far. He's still in the running. Why? It's the engineering. Yeah, the engineering. Uh, the the backs. Uh, where the legs. You know how people always complain, like, oh, they're hollow in the back or in the forearms and stuff like that. These guys, they actually have panels that close up that, so you don't see any like hollowness in their legs or yeah. in their arms. So they address that. The engineering's really good, and as far as them basically looking like their G1 character, but really good articulation and a t a lot more paint apps, they nailed it. Yeah. And the head, I think having the headmaster gimmick in them with the cockpit just adds to the character, like an extra layer to it. Mm. So, yeah, these are amazing figures. Mm. See, I, I want to get a couple more, bro, probably repaint them up as a uh, wreck and ruin. Wait, are they both out as in like released through Hasbro yet? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, so here's the Hasbro version on the left, and then you got the Takara on the right. See, what, what bums me out about it is they're not really that different. Yep. I mean, that, you get... That not bum me out at all. Well, I mean, like, you know, when you go for Takara stuff, you expect, like, better paint, maybe different paint ups. There's hardly anything different between the two. They just took away the guns, tweaked maybe one or two paint apps, and that was it. That's because the Hasbro like, one was really that good. Yeah. But what's the price difference between that Takara and like the Hasbro one? Uh, like Car 15 to four, uh to $40. Uh, You're yeah. looking about well, $25 more. Well, again, it's also like how, like, which, where you order from. HLJ, they're like 20, 30 bucks compared to your other retailers that have them for like $40. Man, you always got to factor in shipping with them. Because it's a lot. Uh, these guys, too, you know, I, I still I like the Hasbro. Uh, it's, it, it's, I'm fine with the Hasbro. Like, if this version was $5 more, maybe I kind of like that darker, but still, I like these weapons better. Yeah, I like the weapons, too. We keep going back to that like whole topic, like we've said like a million times that Hasbro should really do like a premium line, to where it's like right you pay like an extra couple of bucks or like ten bucks or like and you can get like a better version of it. So, mm -hmm. but there we go. Well, On this one, version. yeah, give me the give me this Hasbro version because it's got yeah, the, right the windows. windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got the sticker, like the sticker details. That's a nice toy too. I enjoyed that toy, Sea Spray. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get it as like deep dive, like they did with Reveal the Shield. Uh, real quick, is this who is this Toy Alliance? Yeah, it was a little bit different exposures on the, the you know, because it was somewhat uh, team kind of put them side by side, so just. Had to deal with it, you know, what he was working with. Hey, it's, that, it's, it's that statue we've been looking at for the past year that has made no progress. <laughs> no transform. It looks like it could do something. Yeah, or does it, it, just... it does look like it could transform. I don't know. And then the. What does it? <laughs> the Megatron. <laughs> Yeah, I still need to find the, the sea spray. All right, back into uh, Takara. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Figured we were going to get this, you know, at some point. Yeah. It, it, it just made sense. I'd still like a, a six night. 
because I didn't get quick switch because yeah. I was holding out for a six night. They, they'll probably do it eventually. I think this is a Tokyo Torch exclusive, isn't it? Or their car, Tommy Mall. What's this? No, yeah. It's up for <laughs> yeah. Or, I no, I think this is a regular wide spread release, isn't it? On a Takara? Yeah. Yeah. That looks that looks nice. Yeah. Yep. And there's your submarine mode. The jet mode looks better with those fins. Mm -hmm. I wonder if uh, they're going to do Shadow Maru at all for the whole Brave thing. Just as a... no, I, I doubt it. They tried the Brave stuff at least with Masterpiece, the King X Geyser, and it didn't, it didn't sell very well. I actually just sold my Masterpiece King X Geyser. Where'd you, where'd you pre-order this at? I think I pre-ordered it. Uh, maybe maybe I haven't yet. I don't know. I've got a lot of... I've got like five pages of pre-orders and stuff. I hear you. <clears throat> and then uh, Grand Max. Uh, I'll be picking this up. So I... I... What's weird about this one is if it hits two thousand, they're gonna release it, and if it hits three thousand, they'll release the little Prime Master shell. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean if it hits two thousand? Two thousand? No, it's three thousand. Three thousand well, pre-orders. If, pre if they hit two thousand, they're for sure making it. If they hit two three thousand, they're releasing the Prime Master. Oh, so you're saying they have to have 2,000 pre-orders in order to even produce this item. And yes. then 3,000 to do the little pretender thing. Yep. Yeah. I think, I, I really think they'll hit the 2,000, no problem. What's up? We got Dr. Prime in the house. Uh, yeah, the, the great, or let's see, uh, what do you say? Takara to make quick switch. If Takara did it, they'd do uh, Six Night. That was the you know, the Japanese character, which was basically, he, we turned him into Quick Switch when we brought him over to the U.S., so. That's the one I'm, I'm holding out for. My main issue with all, like, these Titans now is, like, I'm going to have to start being very selective and what again, because obviously we've got Tripticon and we've got, um, uh, Fort Max and Metroplex and things like that. I'm running out of freaking room. With the yeah, them, so. they're huge. That's for sure. <laughs> I literally have like Trypticon sat downstairs on my table. I bought him and I haven't even put labels on because I thought, oh, I'll wait for repo labels to eventually do it. But I've got no room to put it in my room. So I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, the uh, labels are no joke. I haven't even opened. There's so many things that I haven't opened. I've got like 40 things on the floor that I haven't opened yet. I still Jesus. haven't I, I still haven't put together my bat wing. Oh, damn. That's six months ago. It feels like six months ago. <laughs> You're supposed to let me know how it was. I was wondering what happened. <laughs> Dude, I just keep on getting more and more stuff in, and like I try to open, I I can't keep up. I can't either. <laughs> All right, so uh, they're gonna encore uh, the RID. What is it? This RID here was a far convoy or something. This here was a complete waste. I don't even know why they're doing this. RID wasn't that. It's that. Liked the series, I don't think. But they said they I were still, doing it I have that ages ago, but nothing ever come of it. And we just yeah. assumed that it was like, oh, okay, it was just basically just people talking full of shit. But now they do it and they come out with that price tag when I could just jump on eBay and just get it. Okay, you're getting the sword, but I'm not getting the same chrome with it. So, yeah, they, they, yeah, they took away most of the chrome for cartoon accuracy. How, how, how much is it again? Two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's 200 too much. <laughs> How much can you the original on eBay for? Probably about 100. Boxed. If you get a boxed one, well, I mean, each in, each one went for about 100 bucks. Jeez. You know, the original one did. You know, the Prom and the Magnus, 100 bucks a piece. I don't know, like on still... my neck of the woods, you can get them for like forty quid each box tops. This this here is just they could have done something better as far as an yeah. encore than this yeah. crap. I feel like this would have been last on the entire list. Give me give me freaking uh fire guts. Yeah. Any anything you gave me this. I mean, Jesus. I mean this here, I mean, what were these people thinking? I mean, who thought this was a bright idea? Obviously, it needs to go back to the short bus. Gosh. What the, what the hell is that? I mean, not for you. I mean, for you people who like the RID series, you know, that's fine. But... I mean, for when I had it, I mean, it was good. Sorry, both of them. Um, but no, it is no, like people say in the chat, it's just like, it's not worth that. Blitzwing says 200, just get MP Megs. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. You probably think it more, maybe probably about half that price point will be acceptable. The transformation's not very fun either. Like I have this upstairs and it's on the bottom shelf, like collecting some dust right at the bottom. So <laughs> I don't know. Like I never really cared for the trans transformation. Out. It's not great. Oh, it does this come it's not worth it. Maybe they're getting the price point because of that sword. It's one I can think of. <laughs> it's a hundred dollar sword. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Takara, gonna do a little uh, mashup series. Uh, Transformers, awesome. and then they're gonna, you know, adapt. You know, the best brand ever, Star Wars. <laughs> Make a little Darth Vader Tie Fighter. <laughs> Was uh, this wasn't very successful back in the day? I didn't think. Yeah. Mm -mm. I didn't know this was Takara. I just thought it was something new from Hasbro. The TIE Fighter looks good. Well, that's not a... Does Vader come with it? Yeah, the little. Yeah. I think it comes with little Stormtroopers, too. Yeah, it comes with Stormtroopers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> They're so weird looking. Oh, just at that scale. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I like Transformers and I like Star Wars. I'm not buying this. Yeah, me really? neither. Yeah, they, they missed the mark. See, see the I'm way, not the about combining my, my brands. I, I'm nope. not about that. I know Hasbro's all like, hey, let's combine everything. Don't you want to play with Transformers and My Little Pony together and Mr. Potato Head? Nope. I do not. See, I just the, I don't I don't mind the connected <laughs> universe stuff, but my Star Wars figures don't like to play with any other people. They just like Star Wars people. <laughs> see the way the way the way I wish it always done was Transformers characters as Star Wars vehicles. That would have been much better than Star Wars characters as their own vehicle. Oh, let's see. Uh, here you go. Uh, this is for Rick. This is Takara. Some more uh, Diaclone stuff. Uh, I saw this. I looked at all the pictures like a day ago. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm back in. I'm totally getting this one. I haven't bought one since the first one. Like, I've said no to all the little ones, and but this so, one looks really good. Someone on Facebook said that they they like this idea and was thinking about it, but they're really small. They don't like how small. They didn't realize how small they were. It's the it's the modular part that's super fun. Like when you can take like the three or four vehicles and separate them, and some of the vehicles have like the little bikes inside and all that. So, <laughs> Bill says, "Let's keep the crossovers on the basketball court." <laughs> <laughs> all right. That that thing okay. from uh, Avatar. <laughs> Mech suit. All right, and uh, day two dealer room uh, stuff, so you can see the 
funny how like oh we're not gonna be able to release them nobody wants them and then boom there he is and here's his two friends <laughs> uh, see i don't know how much i'm buying into that but anyways there's those i think they look cool i like all the i like the bright colors that's that's how you get me it's with the on the, the jet colors. modes on them too are just great mm. Yeah, of the Prime Trilogy designs, too, like, those are some of my favorite. I wish Wait, you what? could still use, like, a planet key with them. I was kind of a bit... They, they actually do come with one, but it just doesn't do anything. Yeah. I was on the fence of buying them, but I thought, I mean, if they still have that gimmick, then yeah, sure, but... They're only $100, and they're the size of MP Starscream. Mm. So, I mean, it's probably well worth, yeah. you know... They should have started with like Energon, like Fatimus Prime. With anything to improve. Start there. There's a uh, Mastermind Creations. We'll put it back. You mean the greatest third party company ever? Oh, yes. he came. Uh, who's that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just on my break right now. I forgot to, I forgot to bring my, uh, my headphones. So. I'm talking on my cellular device. Did you jump on because you're on break, or did you jump on because I told you to come on? I jumped on because I'm on break, because I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. Oh. <laughs> just just so happened, what you told me to do was already part of my master agenda. Okay, Lance. Dude. Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I just read that post. Yeah, man, that guy's, uh, that guy's probably oh. laying, on, laying on the bathroom floor right now. Like, he is... Oh, uh, somebody's He's long gone. Okay, well, that doesn't have anything to do with... I mean, it's cool and everything, but that's not what we're here to look at. All right, we looked at that already. All right, good, good. What you guys looking at? You guys looking at TF stuff? Yeah. Nice. Your Dino. Oh, that's awesome. There's, there's Rick. Oh, my God. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, Jonathan McKnight says, Big D. Yo, what up? Is that backpack though that like, kind of puts me off? Uh, where, where's the... Oh, Chris is here. Dude, hey, Chris. <laughs> the whole gang's here. <laughs> yeah, we got the brand. Yeah, man. I don't know who all's here. Like like I said, man, I'm, I'm, having, to, I'm having to hold my telephone up to my head, so... Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see I can't see the pictures. <laughs> Everyone's floating heads. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we've seen most of this. I thought it was going to be like new pictures of. No, nah, dude, like nothing new was revealed at TFCon. Just like the panel, there was a big disappointment. This is all the stuff that we looked at last time. Let's see. If nothing there's... new. I thought there'd be something new. No. Nope. All right. No, there. I, there wasn't even really anything new for NYCC either, was there? Oh yeah, there was, dude. I got a dude. I've got a saw blade, man. Yeah, but how much of that did we see at HensCon already? Uh, none of the stuff that I'm going to show. Oh yeah. What's he going to show? You got you got nudes. No, <laughs> you did though. All right. Uh, the uh, Planet X. So they are doing damage versions. Oh uh, really? Okay, I thought that was like. I thought it was I a custom. They kind of did that well, up in Photoshop, but, but, but they are doing uh, battle damage versions of Triptychon and Guardian. Chris just got huh. triggered. They should have so, done that already, to be fair, because like that's how they really looked in the games. They they looked all scratched up and yeah. Yeah, it's true. Chris, dude, just take you take you like a silver sharpie, dude, and dry Chris, it out a little bit and just dry Chris brush, just dry brush. Like this from all the drop test. <laughs> I was just thinking, it's like if I get rid of that because I didn't pay for my Triptychon anyway because Robot Kingdom kind of fluffed up. But if I can get rid of that, and I that's can the get weirdest out. thank you I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but I get rid of that and I can get that one, then we're on to something. Now, didn't you get the other one for free? Yeah, because they were saying, like, no, we've taken it. It's like, right, okay, because I got, like, a separate account for, like, all my Transformers. 
and nothing come out of it. It's like you're saying it, it's being sent, and then it got to me. It's like you didn't charge me. They, you would have been charged as soon as you hit pre-order. It's like, oh, okay. I tried. You know what if what if what if you actually did pay for it, but you forgot, and now you're just like, either way, still the weirdest thank you I've ever heard, and <laughs> not letting that one go. But I looked through like bank statements and everything, and like nothing came out of this. I was like, I don't know where you took money from, but it went from my king. Chris is Chris is walking around with a Robot Kingdom tramp stamp, supporting my favorite shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, HLG. If you're if you're watching or listening, I'll get HLG tramp stamp. Just hook me up with some free stuff. <laughs> uh, there's the uh, the Guardian. Uh, what 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 what's going on here? It's weird that he decided to do the battle damage version of this guy and not Omega Supreme. You, you say battle damage, but I say screen accurate. Yeah. I say the Barrett test drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Omega actually survived the test drop. His Trypticons, I don't want to do. He would smash into a million pieces with all, like, the spikes and stuff. So, no. For oh God, that guy isn't in the bathroom. He's a freaking. I don't want to hear about your gross stuff. No, dude, this dude's just like this dude called. He, he said he said like my name was Lance and we were gonna get married and I was like, but he was like I'm not gay and I was like, well I mean why are we getting married and then he was just like you're a good looking guy man you need to smile and I was like all right dude and then he goes into the bathroom and he like pees he pees all over the front of his pants. And now, like, then he just stayed in there, and, like, we thought he was just kind of sleeping, so we weren't going to do anything, and now he's, he's just walking around outside. I'm like, wow, this dude's a freaking wizard, Harry. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. So, so, he, uh, you still weren't interested after he peed his pants for you? <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. I love like... you, man. I peed myself. <laughs> Yeah, but then he, then he was talking about like super skinny meth head chicks and like they're like the hottest thing ever and like we 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 both were both into that. And I'm like, oh brother, I like them thick <laughs> with two C's. This is the uh, TFC Road Caesar. Well, better pictures than what we had last time. Hey, this is the wizard. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. I didn't even, didn't even realize that. All right, guys, I gotta go back inside. Have fun looking at the stuff we've looked at for the last six months. Nope, this is all new. This is all new, man. Yeah, dude, I hear you. <laughs> go back in your hole. Uh, bye, boys. <laughs> see I see y'all. I see y'all around. <laughs> uh, Jonathan McKnight says, "LOL, want to get married now, bro? I wear diapers." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's <laughs> just, just no comment. That actually looks really good. All right, mm -hmm. getting back to Transformers here. Yeah. Rick, you this getting... is a NP scale? Or... Uh, I, yeah. I think it looks awesome, but I don't. still probably not. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on when it all is out. I don't know. It's only two, one out right now. How many are out right now? One of them? I think two maybe? One, yeah. Yeah. one or two? Depends on when it hits. Yeah, the the whole my decision with I uh, decided not to get the Takara Hot Rod and Cup was all the Star Wars stuff, yeah. all the exclusives, and then Super 7. I hear you, dude. You know, hitting, you. You know, hitting that pre-order for that wave. I was like, dude, that's like a thousand dollars, right? Yeah. There. Now this this month has been absolutely crazy. I'm on the exact same page as you because we collect a lot of the same stuff. I've started selling my my animated collection. Oh man, come on! What is, what is this? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, just waiting for something to pull up here. I haven't put the pre-order down on the Super 7 stuff, but I'm going to do it. 
next week. I think they have it up till the 31st, so. When is when were they supposed to ship that wave two of the filmation? I don't know. I don't Matthew. see anything. Oh my god! What the hell is going on here? Google. <laughs> oh, oh, there's something. All right, uh, generation toy defensor. Holy crap! I said shipping in November. We'll see about that. Yeah, I call their bluff on that. <laughs> and then here's some random monkey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stupid monkey. At least it's is one on like the leader class. Who's it supposed to be? It's based on someone's art from a like a year ago, Oof. they're doing some G1 characters as animals, too. All right, Planet X. Here you go, Chris. That just looks like an add on kit for Prime. Am I not? Well, I think they're going to release it and the set, the kit as you know, kind of like how G1 did Ultra Magnus. Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh... I mean, it's not too far from what it looked like in the game. I can get over the scale. I've I've moved past that because the Megs look so awesome. Right, okay. But it's still, it's like, I feel cheap day. And that's like, this is going to be a really good price. It'd look like anything and just be like, it's Cybertronian mode. It's just, I can't. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. That's literally his prime with a couple of extra thin pieces of plastic strapped to him. You don't like them? No. What? What? A little difference there? Yeah, it looks like the chest piece is all new. It doesn't look like it's just strapped on. It looks like it's actually all new pieces. Oh, actually, his new feet is wrong. Oh, Megatron. I love that design for Megatron. But why do they have to make him so big? Well, he's Megatron. He's supposed to be bigger. Yeah, yeah but they're like the same size as like Grimlock. It doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. There, there's there's the Megatron. Obviously, the colors aren't vinyl. <clears throat> no. Does look pretty sweet though. I hope he comes with the uh, the mace. Oh, you, you know he will. I mean, right now he's just well. No, he actually it's, looks like he's just coming with the sword. <sighs> I, th I think it was the first game that I had him with the mace. Uh, well, yeah. In uh... Uh, actually, I can't even remember if he had it in this one. <laughs> Uh, this is TFC right here. Check this thing out. So, it's still rained? Yeah, it's the Rolling Thunder version of Prime. Was this space like on the G.I. Joe crossover from way back in the day? Maybe. Yeah, maybe it was. I dig that it comes with that little roller. Definitely looks like Rolling Thunder. So, you know, this would be a great Rius into maybe like Countdown or something. And what was the last thing a TFC actually made? They, they did those, wrote that Road Caesar. All right, this is the Bot Fest attendee uh, exclusive to go with your Carnifex by Mastermind Creations. You're going to be tracking those down to go with your Carnifex? 
Nah, I'm good. What is Boston? with third? It's was it in Singapore? Oh, right. Or Shanghai? Uh, this one's a uh, let's see what 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 is this? This is a Shanghai Convention exclusive. Uh, Iron Factory Acid Storm. Uh, what are you trying to get us to look at there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, this is that this same is a convention. Point, pointless picture right here. The figure's like right here. <laughs> She's like, what am I holding? What is this? Why are you making me hold this? I'm so confused what I'm supposed to be buying. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <you're a> hooker. <laughs> so there's that. All right, and uh Zeta Toys, they're uh not brawl. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm digging with these uh Third party companies are doing with their tanks, actually giving them rolling treads. Mm. Uh, some someone could honestly make a hobby out of just collecting third party combaticons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Devastators. Yeah, I mean yeah. stay stay busy. You'd have a shelf full for real. Menasaur. Yeah, just combiners in general. Dude, it, it never it never stops because what you think is like okay I think everybody's done like here, co <laughs> here comes somebody Fine out water. of the woodworks hobby miser and hot soldiers and all kinds of people what oh okay so that's how they that's cool okay. it's the current move oh right oh, right I think it's that one. oh it's the transformation oh, okay I was like. I thought it was a parent mode. I was gonna say, what is he? Um, fourteen what modes. Character? What? What's that character from Overwatch? Better... The little robot. Bastion or something? yeah, they're, they're trying to do, pull a Bastion with him. I know. I, I think it was Unique Toys made their own version of him. I forget. I forget who it is. Yeah, it is Bastion. So he just shoves the treads down into his, like, shin guards. Mm. Treads look pretty cool. You'd probably make a watch out of the treads, it looks like. <laughs> oh, gun face. <laughs> I'm tank -headed. Stand back. Tank heads here. Talk about a girl walk. Uh. I don't even know what this is. Web GL. Oh, that was right. Let's try to refresh some of these things. Oh, there's that. And let's see who's this is it DMK. Yeah, DMK yeah. top spin. Oh god. Uh, what was it going to be until? I know it's not my internet. It must be my computer. I need to go take my tower in and find out exactly what the hell's going on with it. 
all that German gender porn is just built up. <laughs> yeah, all right, Cameron, let her in. Okay, so uh, Cameron is saying that these are more than likely just model kits. Yeah. Oh, now there is one company that's doing uh, these record guys from the movie verse, and they actually do transform. I forget what the name of the company is, but I wonder if it's the same company doing Dino, the alien attack. Did Jonathan, funny you mentioned that, that uh, I just signed up like two days ago. <laughs> My my buddy uh, that I play games with, he keeps on CZ. He keeps on talking about it. I'm like, Jesus, maybe I should check this out. You know? Uh, also, DMK Leadfoot. What's that? It's that fat guy. <laughs> the fat guy before Hound. So they just really com compacted everything into him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think the other one, this is DMK Roadbuster. I think they look pretty cool, you know, for being bay, bay formers. Yeah. I think I prefer this one. The other ones look quite fragile, like the plastic's super thin. This one mm -hmm. looks super bad, like more bulkier. All right, unique toys. Parakill. Parakill or something like that. Let's see them all They're painted up now. Fit in with your movie masterpiece figures. Gun face. Did any, think, does any any of you guys buy the movie masterpiece figures? I no, haven't yet. I don't think anyone on our show buys them. I want to get them. I don't buy movie figures. Period. You talking about the uh, Prime and Bumblebee? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, big dumpster fire, no go. Yeah, me neither. Uh, and the upcoming barricade. Well, that's, that's rumor. <laughs> if, like, Prime came with, like, the little, well, their version of the Matrix, and I'd probably get it. He does. But... I, th I think he comes with it. <laughs> oh. Really dwarfs B. All right, well, that's enough comparisons. I'm trying to trying to get through this. All right, and let's see. This is the TF Nation exclusive by Mass Toys, or however you say it, Mass Toys. So they they've done exclusives for just about everybody. This thing's been recolored too many times. I don't even want to buy the original one now. <laughs> yeah, four, four, <laughs> two, three too many. <laughs> Everyone, I mean, they're changing up the character at least, but everybody's getting an exclusive. It's been doing five For, times: Bumblebee, Goldbug, two TF Cons, and now TF Nation. The the TF Con one would, were both just the uh, bug bite. Okay. And I'd probably just get it for Bumblebee and Goldbug for just so I can have a Cybertronian B. That's the only thing that I've always hated about, like, well, back when it was Auto Assembly, it's just the exclusive. I don't care whoever tells you over here says the exclusives are good. They're lying to you. They, they've always sucked. And they still suck now under a different name. Sorry. There's a, 
Uh, another one they're doing, same company. Rapido. He is lanky. Mm -hmm. I, I think these were canceled fans project designs. Because I remember them showing them off at a TFCon last year, and then I haven't heard anything from fans project since then. Yeah, they just disappeared. Uh, That's pretty rough. <laughs> now this looks good. All right, so this is the BotFest exclusive or like the custom class. This yeah. I would really, really want. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dakota, do you want? Oh, you're not here? Oh, too bad. I, I, I don't. I don't remember if he said he wanted it or not, but I, I would love to get this. I don't, I don't think know. he he didn't like the prom one. Yeah, I don't think he liked it as primal, but it looks good as Tigatron. It does. It looks really badass with colors, the green windows, and everything. I, mean, I, I think just wait till they, just just wait till they do Cheetor here in a couple months. Yeah, no doubt. Bright yellow, all the spots all over the place. And then Shadow Panther would be awesome. Uh, there's your uh, look at the DX9 prototype there. I know this is going to sound really weird, but is it me or it looks more stationary than it would up against like fans toys? It just looks more blockier and just dunk. See, I actually like this one more than the fans toys. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Someone's off a Christmas cards list. Screw you. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's, isn't it actually a little bit cheaper, though? Yeah, it is cheaper. Uh, what do you know about uh, Hot Soldiers, Chris? Um, I don't know. The village people. <laughs> uh, the little mini guys. Here's your uh, Bumblebee. The Iron Hide, I believe, is already out. They paint the rims just for Rick. Yeah. And their check, windows. Check the box. Check the box. Yeah, no more pictures? Okay. Moving on. Uh, God, who was this again? MS, MS Toys. Magic's, uh, Magic Square. Okay. <laughs> Oh, another company doing a sea spray. Damn. I didn't realize sea spray was so freaking popular, man. Yeah, not as popular as grotesque, but maybe second. Well, there's like what <laughs> five third party companies doing sea spray. <laughs> totally, yeah. Hey, look, it's a seeing how to make a wish. Yeah. Oh, what are they? They're doing the Lambors as well. Oh, these are uh, these are smaller. Okay. Uh, because this is uh, is it that the unique toys, right? They're the little small guys. So uh, these must if they're showing this to be in scale with them, then they're smaller too. Tiny. Yeah. So. If you're into the DX9 and Iron Factory and any World's toys, those, yeah, this little bitty, little bitty things. Uh, oh god, who, who is this? Uh, Dirt Boss. A plus toys. Yeah, there you go. If you're yeah, animated. I heard, Derek, I heard Derek wasn't very happy with the what we're going to see here in just a couple, few pictures. Like the vehicle mode or what? Uh, later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, right there. Oh. Yeah, Derek wasn't happy with the Devastator head. See, she gonna step in and help him out. 
I, I don't think so. I think he's just ignoring it. Oh, okay. But, you know, I, I, I might end up with one of these because we never had them from the show. I, and I would, I would get this. Yeah, I think it's it's funny. Just wait till you get Mixmaster and Scrapper. There's your three constructor cons for the series. Wouldn't be good if uh, they could actually all combine. That's what they're talking about, right? All right, non F. Little F. Oh, God, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, it's working. Oh. <laughs> well, I already hit the refresh. Oh, man. All right, well, let's, let's, let's check up on this. <laughs> uh, it's, a, uh, it's the last Transformer thing. Let's get it. So, oh, there it is. Okay, no, stop. Stop loading. Every time I go to like reload, like it just pops up, and I've got to try to cancel it. All right, so uh, they are, you know, kind of like the little garage kits, but they're making add-ons for clones, which is the one thing that I was disappointed in with the clones. Mm-hmm. You got yeah, add-ons. Just Before I guns. Even get them, I still don't have them all. Can I at least get them in hand I, I, before before it happens? All right. So yeah. So the weapons. Yeah, I'm still waiting on that Walgreens two pack. It should be hitting never. soon. They're already hitting Canada. Never seen it. Never seen. Never it. never seen it either. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I like this to get to get the the weapons yeah. for them. They That's definitely cool. need it. So I'm yeah. sold on this. I usually don't buy a little bitty add-ons or weapon things for them, but these guys need this. Yeah, they're worth it. See, see I, I want to get the ones for Brainstorm. Because I, I don't like the one <clears throat> that it comes with. Probably the one for Broadside, too. I love them. All right. All right. So uh, you guys that were interested in Power Lords, they said they were going to be doing them again. That has been canceled. Apparently, they've only got like two-thirds of the pre-orders that they needed for them, you know, for it to be financially you know, uh, worth it for them to go forward with it. They didn't get that. They tried adding some troop builders to it to entice people to pre-order a little bit more, and they didn't work. So you're not going to see these. It's too too much stuff out right now, man. Everybody's competing for. It's just a lot of stuff. They they look really cool, but like I, I you know, we grew up in that time, and like I don't think I owned a single Power Lord. I didn't ever care to have one. I just had Adam Power. I just had the main guy. Yeah, so, and they've already come out with them. So, like, I mean, yeah. you probably don't even care about these guys. Yeah. Uh, Funko, uh, these are already up for pre-order. Uh, they're like 10 bucks. So they said they're going to be in that three and three quarter inch. Uh, I, I hope that it's a three and three quarter inch scale. So like blue launch pads, taller chip and Dell, you know, a little bit smaller type thing instead of them all being, it, it, lo it looks like that's how it is. Right. I think so. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, the main articulation looks like it's just in the shoulder, the elbow, and the head, I mean, because even if you move the, the legs here, you're going to have to move them right back. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to stand. So that's kind of pointless. Put the articulation in the legs. Yeah. It's wasted tooling. Uh, waste turn, so. 
I do love the uh, Disney afternoon stuff. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, they, they look yeah, good. They look really good. Uh, yeah. Apparently, this guy's going to be short packed. This is the kind of like chase, or there you go, limited chase figure. Which, how is it really? Because they're not blind box, so you just walk in the store and you just grab them off the shelf. You know? Uh, I'll probably buy this one for my brother. I remember he liked Darkwing Duck. He doesn't collect toys or anything, but yeah, I'm probably gonna quit it because this, this this was my childhood. So I wish a different company got them. When I saw that they were doing Rescue Rangers and Ducktales, I was like, man, I would be all in if the right company got them. I don't know if this is the right company. Funko hasn't been too bad with their figures. I mean, oh. I would. I, I haven't checked out the Rick and Morty figures, but the Five Nights at Freddy's were all right. They had a few QC issues here and there, but beyond that, they were fine. We yes, but they'll probably be at like Toys R Us. All right, Star Wars six inch black series, Borlom. Uh This is Dakota's favorite bounty hunter. I'm, were y'all serious about that? That was his favorite bounty hunter? No, I like most stuff, I just make stuff up about Dakota. And- <laughs> oh, well, I just I knew we saw this on Facebook, and I I, I think it was like a big fly. Yeah, uh, for Loam, uh, we needed. I think that they messed up because they should have came out in the same way with Zuckus as well to go with Forlom. Yeah. And then uh, Dangar, please. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, that's Dengar. He looks good. So you're getting a couple of the bounty hunters. So what are we missing? Just Zuckus then? I think so. Yeah, because that was one of the things whenever I took a Black Series uh, survey. Uh, I, I think it was like a year, maybe a year and a half ago or something like that. That they were like, you know, what what do you what things do you want? I'm like, just finish the bounty hunters. Yeah, just finish finish those for the movie. Uh, there's a DJ, which is Benicio del Toro, right? Yeah. And the new movie, yeah. Don't know I mean, who I he is yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, be, be, because at first, uh, I was just whenever I saw him, I was like, you know, I consider myself a pretty big Star Wars fan. Yeah. And I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> Yeah. I, I was like trying to think of going through all the Star Wars movies, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know who this is. And then I, yeah. uh, I had to go read up, and I was like, oh, apparently it's gonna be in the new movie. And I was like, okay, well that makes sense. So, so. It, the new Star Wars trailer, dude. There's only three characters like in the trailer. The Porg is on there, but no other characters like Rose and Paige and all these people that we've seen. This guy, no one's in the trailer. Dude, I don't even care about that Porg thing. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that's in there. <laughs> yeah. No other characters. I'll, I'll like this. That, that almost looks kind of like a a Rebels style head, you know? Yeah, like, like a stylized. Animal. Yeah. But uh, You think it's going to do double duty? Because they did have him in Rebels twice or more than that. At least twice. Did they? Yeah, he was in Rebels. I, I like this, though, to... To get uh, the job is found off, uh, yeah, Lando, yeah, and uh, Ray. I don't want to hear any more about where's Ray. I'm trying to like think of how many rays I have. I'm like, <laughs> she, she's everywhere, dude. I've got one, two, three, four. You can get her on a speeder. I, I, got, like, I got like five or six rays, yeah. So, she's everywhere. All right, let's just a little quick checkup. A little quick checkup. All right. All right, so um, apparently uh, this is what they were kind of showing off at first for the the Walmart exclusive where he's going to come with, like, throne room little area and stuff like that. this is what they kind of showed off. This is what you're actually getting. So you'll notice a couple of things <laughs> is one uh, with the 
the cape where you saw like there's kind of a pattern here on the outside on the one you're actually getting you don't have that pattern so it's more of just kind of a, a single uh, is what it looks like unless it's flipped inside out but we can only go from what the picture show us and obviously uh they put some the, he saw a little bit of sun you know god man he looks freaking pale over here this one looks like it's he should star in like a Tim Burton movie or something like that. <laughs> or, or be up there on stage with Marilyn Manson. Yeah. So yeah, that that one looks better. There we go. Marilyn Manson with and without makeup. Uh GameStop exclusives. These are gonna be available October thirty first for your Marvel Legends six inch. So this one and then this one. And we got some more Marvel Legends. Uh, here's some of the official images of some of the stuff that's going to be coming out. Uh, let's see, Gladiator, it's fantastic. That'll be a Walgreens exclusive. Multiple Man, he's going to be probably in the X Men wave. I think he comes with like two or three faces too. Yeah. So you can troop build him. Uh, Prowler, I'll be honest, I don't know who the heck that is. And then Spider Man Noir. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, that Taskmaster. Oh, that looks yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, so there's those. And then some more Marvel Legends. Here it was from a uh, little preview. So you can kind of just see them scattered throughout there. Look at that storm. Look at the, the oh, we'll see them better, but the sunlock and the storm, Mohawk storm, They're looking looking nice. There's the Gwenpool. <laughs> I'll probably sell that. That Wolverine. That's pretty good. Yellow Tiger Wolverine. That's the one we want right there. <laughs> There's the multiple man. Look at the Psylocke. You get the uh, little face shield. So that was uh, introduced. That's cool. I like how they did her outfit where, you know, sunlock has got it, like, hiked up over her hips. <laughs> I just – you better it's... buy the Psylocke up as soon as you see it in stores because you know that some, like, super sensitive parent's going to be like, oh, my God, I had to walk by and explain my daughter <laughs> why she was dressed that way. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, multiple heads for multiple men. Again, that Ghost Rider is pretty tight. We've seen them, though. And, yeah, we've seen him. Lizard, he looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, again, this, this Ghost Rider, man. That's probably the best-looking Ghost Rider figure. I mean, that's not yeah. like Hot Toys. I mean, that's but it's it's pretty awesome, dude. <laughs> that's a great figure. Because I mean, yeah, you know, the the wheels and even that chain. The chain. It looks really good. Yep. I'm not even a Ghost Rider fan, but I'm kind of tempted to just get that. But yeah, I'm more into the X Men and then the Spider Man classic kind of characters. Those are really the only Marvel Legends that I get. That lizard's awesome looking. And yeah, Mysterio. Yeah, I'm getting him too. I like his little effects. Yeah, yeah. I I would like like two or three more of those. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I forget who this is. Uh, I want to call him King Hiss, but <laughs> I know that's <laughs> ma- Masters of the Universe. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I forget who it is. I don't care. <laughs> Look at the detail on the Wolverine in his veins and stuff in his arm. <clears throat> At Jim Lee design, baby. Oh, there's that nice look at the Psylocke. See all her little beams and stuff. Uh, the, I forget what, the, what are they called. Is it just Punk Rock or Punker Spider Man? That's one I, I don't need either. Yeah, I think we're going with that. I'd sell that as well. No ties to it. This <laughs> cable. Dude, I'm selling the other cable. <laughs> as soon as I saw this, I was yeah. like, don't need that other one. That's a movie, the best cable right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Jim Lee style right there. Spider Punk. Yeah, that's what they're calling them. That cable's amazing. And I've already got a Deadpool, so. Is he going to be one of those characters where they just throw him in in, like, every wave? Say Deadpool's name three times, Dakota appears. (laughs) Uh, uh, Oh, he can't can't see the cable. Oh, is it the, um, like, the, the the more comic cable? Yeah. Aren't they supposed to come in, like, a three pack with Domino or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's all going on cable. Uh, I don't think yeah. that's a three pack, though, is it? I think it's yeah, their wave. Uh, their songbird is a, a part of a three pack. I don't care about her either. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll pick up the domino. I mean, you know, whatever. If I, if I gotta have a domino, that'd be fine. I actually, I want the, you can have the Deadpool. I'll take the cable and domino. Nope, I want I want the I want the Deadpool and the cable. So I'll give you domino. Nope, because I need the cable. I'll, See, I, I, I have too need the cable. cable. I have a better chance of selling Deadpool uh, on eBay than you do selling Domino. Yeah, but see, Josh, yeah. women superheroes are in right now, so you may be wrong. Well, good for them. <laughs> uh, uh, Sasquatch is the build a figure. Yeah, everyone's favorite. All right, hold your applause. I don't need X twenty three either. He said, "Hold it." Yeah, dude. Like, you know, which you mean? You mean the the new Wolverine? She's not X twenty three anymore. She's Wolverine because that's. Well, they have her as X twenty three. Oh, Hasbro, you fascist patriarchy pigs! Tell us how you really feel. No, that's not how I feel. That's just that's how that's that's how the internet's telling me to feel. Didn't they say for the comics that uh, Wolverine's coming back? <laughs> if Mar- if Marvel doesn't um, run themselves into the ground, I heard they're doing really bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're, they're Dude, so they time. just yeah, man. Like the numbering system is different yeah. now. Like so like I just like I, I read I read Cable number six last month or something like that, yep. and then my next issue is number one fifty. So they've gone back to all of the original <clears throat> numbers. Yeah, and like Captain America's going back to like six hundred and whatever. I'm like, dude, what the hell is going on? Like, why couldn't you guys just Let's keep it simple? It should never. Oh, I think I think I think I think uh, the Sam Wilson was up to twenty four, and Steve Rogers was up to like seventeen or eighteen, or right. something like that. You know, they're adding them together and then adding them to the old numbers. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they they ran them together. No, 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 they ran them together for issue 25, which doesn't that's make any a, sense. That's a Walgreens exclusive right there. This, uh, <laughs> I heard, I'll tweet. I'll, I'll send you. You know, dude, for someone for someone who likes Star Wars so much and hates Marvel, none of this, none of none of what Josh does makes sense. Oh, Deadpool's getting a gun. Go back. 
Oh, it nice. That nerf balls. stuff. This is balls cool. on it. Uh, this right here, this Hydra two pack. I saw that in Toys R Us today. Really? Uh, yeah, they they had wow. like five of them. Wow. So if you're looking for that, uh, that looks like that's a two uh, Toys R Us exclusive as well. Now the Black Panther toys should be coming out. You figured they they showed that out before Christmas? Is it February? When's the movie? Like February. February yeah, Bad and Deadpool are both in February. What, what, what is this crap? Spider Man Gladiator. I'm trying to think of what series. What, what is Gladiator in? Is it? It's not X Men, is it? Yeah, I mean, he's been in X-Men. He's part of the Shi'ar Empire or whatever. Was. Are, are they going to char charge the same amount for this Black Widow on her motorcycle as the same as Ghost Rider and his motorcycle? Because, I mean... If anything, well, they'll probably charge, what, three cents on the dollar less? Ghost Rider. No, no one? That didn't... I thought that was a real zinger. Okay. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I got it. I think I know what you meant. Uh, the uh I think he looks cool. And then here's this guy that I don't know. And then there's the uh, a, a new Spider Woman. Probably they already made a test. They did like two years um, ago. Just like Cap. Yeah. Uh, who, who, who's this guy? Havoc. Oh, no, Black Bolt. You're I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't I don't recognize him. Why does it uh, name more? He keeps on. They just came out with one. Uh, well, <laughs> he keeps on getting less and less clothes. The next one they come out with, he's going to be just full on new. He just, just it's gonna, just going to be there with his diddly just saying hey to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hey, diddle diddle. And then, then I'm going to have Aquaman. He's going to walk up to him. He's like, man, get your fire and a sausage out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the, the Spider Woman. looks pretty nice. Uh, she's got her stunner shades on. I, th I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to close this up. In the next uh, maybe 20 minutes if we can. Uh, oh, well, I guess see. this is the last time I uh, I say hello to you guys tonight. Uh, here is the uh, Mattel's DC Multiverse stuff, so we can actually see the figures. Awesome. Perfect time for me to bounce out. All right, guys. See you later. Go back in your hole. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't like Mattel's stuff. Yeah, hurts my soul. The best looking one they have is the Vixen here, but I think that she should have came with like a belt that's kind of like loose, like the Marvel Legends ones do, instead yeah. of hers just kind of painted on with like the little diamond things hanging down. Other than that, I think that the Vixen's the best looking figure. All right, and then these are the uh, statues, so we're going to move on. Friday the 13th, uh, accessory pack by NECA. So, you get the... Not the figure, but you get the little Camp Crystal Lake and uh, the dock. Looks like a little chain. <laughs> Part six. 
I know I know my Friday the thirteenth. I've only seen one Friday the thirteenth, and it was uh Jason X when he was in space. Oh no. And I thought that it was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> the worst one to see out of all of them. I was like, people like this stuff? Wait, so you haven't seen Freddy vs. Jason? Oh, you gotta see that. That's a good one. I think I tried to and I fell asleep. I just, I, your, I, I, get, I get bored with horror movies. Got your, your boy uh, Gary Chalks in that one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this one's kind of cool I, how they have it closed. I just found myself laughing throughout half of that movie. It's also got Monica Keene in it. She's pretty cute. Look it up, people. Oh, God, come on. All right. Uh, I saw the Blade Runner figures at Toys R Us today. Uh, I'm going to go see it Monday with my dad. And then uh, they're going to be coming out with Love and then Wallace here. And so there's a look at the Wallace face. God, I love Jared Leto. That looks more like Jared Leto than the other two look like they're actors. Ooh. I wonder what he's mailed to people this time. And here's the uh, NECA Mohawk Gremlin. That looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, and, and my Toys R Us, they sold out of the gizmo, so I probably didn't need it anyway. Oh, we don't look at that yet. Oh, this was for Dakota McFarland. They're going to be coming out with some more Destiny 2 figures. So there's Blueface. I don't play Destiny, so I don't know what any of their names are. Kate Six. <laughs> this chick. Ray. It's Ray. There you go. And then... uh. This guy, this commander guy. I, I got a kick out of a, a Kate in the commercials for it. So. Hey, they don't look bad. I guess, I guess they, they look uh, like they do in the game, maybe. Do they move? <laughs> uh, McFarlane uh, going to be coming out with Ezekiel and Daryl Dixon. Daryl. I, I just started. Do they have enough Daryls? Yeah, but it's. I that. just got started. You got He's the uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks version, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got started watching Walking Dead. I've got a lot of catching up to do. You and you just started. Uh, yeah. You just Boss, start for real. Oh my goodness. Boss Fight Studios. Uh, here's some of the packaging of their stuff. Yeah, that is... looks really good. It does look good. I should have backed that. I didn't back it. Uh, I didn't either. I, I thought they were just they're what were they thirty five dollars I think, <clears throat> and I was just like you know it's gonna cut into something else. I just I, I can't do I it. Know. That's that's how I think they I think they look great. Yeah, but the thing was like I wasn't really ever big into Bucky O'Hare. It, it was yeah. my middle. It was my brother that was like you know four and a half years younger than me that he he had all the bucky o'hares all, all their vehicles and everything so i was thinking about maybe just getting the bucky or maybe just the duck i forget what the duck's name is but he looks good too favorite yeah uh let's see where are we on this all right Diamond Select Toys, their Ghostbuster stuff. Uh, so here's your newer ones. Oh, it's based off Ghostbusters. Of That's pretty cool. Mm. Oh, whenever he gets that. Uh, okay, that stuff. The mood slime. Yeah. This guy, he was such an odd character. Yeah. I was, like he creeped me out. <laughs> <laughs> creeped you out more than Vigo, huh? More yeah, he did because he would like uh, like rubbing his hands together and like he was like short and always like looking up at him and like 
getting like way too close to you, you know, when he's talking to you. Like, I don't know, like people like that, man, they freak me out a little bit when they when they're talking to you and they get like way too close in your personal space. Like, look, you don't need to be six inches from my face for me to hear what you're saying. You know, back up again? Was it Janusz? Yeah, and his so, name yeah. is kind of strange as well. Sorry if there's anyone watching. This name is Janusz, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> Lewis. Yeah, I tried these when they came out with their first series, and one of the figures broke. Uh, when I was taking it out of the package, his arm broke off, and the other one, I was like, "All right, let me try to get this one out." I guess easier and it's a uh, stream wouldn't plug into the proton pack. So I was like, no, I'm, I'm done with these. <laughs> Just look how creepy he is. I also the way he's holding that kid too. It's, it's pretty creepy. His face is kind of creepy. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's kind of evil looking. What? She keeps going. Uh, nah. All right. And these are or Diamond Select. That kid in the background. <laughs> Just like his joke or something. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I got these cars. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> huh. Like Penny, like Pennywise in the projector. So those are your three uh, Marvel selects. And then the, the Gwen, we've known about Gwen for a while. The Netflix Daredevil. I've only got three Marvel selects. I got the, the Carnage and the Venom are really solid, and I bought one Spider-Man to go with them. And then these are statues, so. Uh, Robotech? Or, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Revoltech. Captain America. It's kind of weird looking. We, yeah. I think we looked at this before, actually. It is a little strange looking, especially in his chest. Just weird proportions, like those thighs and calves. Yeah, you know, like his thighs are as big as his head. <laughs> it's like he's like, supposed to be like a street fighter version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Capcom. <laughs> you took the word right out of my mouth. Yeah, Capcom. Stars and stripes. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play that game way too much. No doubt. All right. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> it's like you with Penn State last year. All right. Uh, Dime Select Toys, Pacific Rim. So Neck is not doing it this year. Uh, you got Tomashi Nations and Diamond Select Toys doing it. Really looking forward to Uprising. Hey, they're charging twenty four dollars, man. That's uh, they're charging more than what NECA was. Hmm. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, I liked that was a really good popcorn movie. I liked Pacific Rim. I yeah. like I like it better than any of the Transformer movies by Michael Bay. It's it's funny you say that. My my kid picked it up off my shelf the other day and like begged me to watch it, and I I watched it with him, and he liked it probably more than he liked the Transformers movies. He was going off every time. Uh, Gypsy Danger every time. That mech is on the screen, man. He was going crazy. I have yet to watch that movie. 
Tamashi Nations, their uh, Pacific Rim figures. Look a little, a little more detailed. Yeah, that, that looks pretty sick right there. Pretty good. Yeah, uh, the sequel is Uprising, you said? Yeah. I think Pacific Rim, like, they, it knows what it is. And so, you know, it's not trying to, I think it's not trying to be, like, overly serious, you know? Like, it's supposed to be fun, you know? I kind of liked it as well because it didn't exactly focus on like a main character. It was just, do you know what I mean? Uh, oh, these are the robot sphere. Oh, these are cheaper than the uh, diamond select ones. Uh, and I like these ones better. Oh, there's, okay. So they're about the same price, 30 bucks. Oh, look at this one. That looks good. Oh, he lights up. Oh, uh, he's what? getting more expensive. His arms light up and his man. Oh, Who, who's making this one? Oh, uh, these are Tamashi Nations. Uh, how what's the price on this? We put prices on everything else. That's probably four. Oh, there, there it is $250. That's it. I figured that would be more. They usually charge like three or four for stuff. Uh, the height is approximately. 230 millimeters. What is that, Chris? I don't know. We do centimeters and inches. What we do uh, inches. You said 230 millimeters? Yeah. That's 23 centimeters. That'd be we're about eight to nine inches. Roughly, I think. Oh, oh no, he's he dude, he's gotta be taller than that if he's good dropping <laughs> 12 inches minimum. Yeah, he's got to be 12 that, inches. <laughs> that's 30 centimeters. That'd be 300 millimeters. He's nine inches, nine and a half inches. Yeah. All right. This is also for Dakota. This is nice. Tamashi Nations. All of the names are Goku. <laughs> even, <laughs> even the dragon, it, Goku. It, except for Nappa right there in the corner. There's a little bit Goku. Don't know nothing about this stuff. There's yellow haired Goku. Or yellow spiky haired Goku. There's little young yellow spiky haired teen Goku. Go tanks. Tanks. Go tanks. Goku Trunks. black. That's actually Goku. Yeah. I, I yeah, I know they're all Goku. <laughs> they're all Goku and Cloud Strife. <laughs> so, that's it. The, the, it's the little kid from Avatar, all grown up on the right. <laughs> okay, that's not weird. Whoa, I'm not sure about that for you. You don't weird. like it? No, he looks a bit too weird in the face. Which one? The Goku on the left? Goku on the left, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you don't like the face? No, the face is off. Way off. <laughs> now that is a... But she keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Were you here for any of that, Chris? The she keeps going thing. That nah, let's not. Like let's not. Let's every... not. Let's not bring it up. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> okay, that that was it. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Bandai. Oh, you know what? I actually saw these, uh, or at least the the yellow haired Goku. I saw two of them there at Walgreens uh, Friday. I swear, I saw them at Walgreens Friday. There were two of them. This guy right here. 
Okay. There, he was only like twenty bucks. What's that? They don't look too bad. Yeah. So, the, so these these are like twenty dollar ones. Oh, okay. Never mind. What happened to him? As Two Face Goku. Yeah, Two Face Goku. All right. He's um right-handed. In case you didn't know, <laughs> he, he <doesn't> know. <laughs> Chris, this is a family show. <laughs> Be right back, guys. Dude, how's his hair not falling out with him like using all these different hair dyes all the time? <laughs> who's that Panthro Goku? Yeah, who's Panthro Goku? That's hit. He's an assassin. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, and it looks like there's build a figure, uh, the Dragon Goku. Yeah. See, all Goku. <laughs> Dragon stars. Uh, Tamashi Nations. These are six inch. What the? Yeah, the, I'm not gonna get these, but these are like really interesting to me. One because the Batman. Like, when's the last time you saw Batman with this many different colors? You know, he's always like, you know, if he has any color to him, it's yellow utility belt and a, maybe a yellow symbol. Otherwise, it's black, gray, and blue. You know. <laughs> Look at all these different colors with the red and gold, purple, you know, all over. I, I kind of like that Batman. Uh, what do you think, Rick? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't get into this line much. I mean, I, it's all, I like the Joker okay, but I'm not really into it. Yeah, it's I, I'm, it's one of those things I'm not getting, but if you know, if I, you were just like, I guess had money to blow, like I think it would kind of cool <laughs> have. But there's so so much stuff coming out that even if you got money to blow, uh, there's probably something else out there. All right, we'll see here. All right, let's, let's get an update. Still doing nothing. Oh God, man. I just checked it. <laughs> All right, so good small company. They're coming out with a six inch of the Kojima. This is basically the Kojima logo. He made a, a six inch figure for it, and he's making a uh, 12 inch figure as well. So if you like his work so much that you're like, you know what, I need a, you know, figure of his logo then there you go uh there's some more uh there's this the new overwatch so they're the ones that did the the one for chris that hello love cover is here <laughs> now they're, doing... <laughs> uh, they're, they're doing this other guy now and look you got the the little uh little super deformed ones yeah. There she is. Chris, do you, do you have her yet? I haven't actually played Overwatch yet. Oh, and here's the little bitty nerd droid version in the back. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, God. That's all Dakota up there. Oh, look at Tinkerbell. She's pissed. <laughs> yeah, that Tink's always got a she has, temper. She's got a bad temper. Dude, she should have been a redhead. Be yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Let it snow. Let it go. Shut the hell up, Mike. What? what what's wrong with that? <sighs> oh, Kirby. That's so old. <laughs> I haven't seen much of Kirby lately. That's what I was just thinking. 
uh, or whatever this is. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh. Jesus. What is that? The knockoff right. Pokemon or whatever. Oh, look at the little one. Woman. <laughs> Dude, she looks adorable. She's got that strong face. <laughs> oh, God. I'll tell y'all off air, man, what we were talking about. My <laughs> video game streams. Oh, portal stuff. I never got into that game. I don't even know what that is. So. Bloodborne. Never played that. Here's the here's the one for Dakota. The stuff. <laughs> it butts in. Like the one to the right, right there. When they make a little heart out of it from its hands. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Dakota stuff. Tiny woman, big breast, long hair. Okay, that's a statue. Statue. Uh. I like these little. They're 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 so expensive. <laughs> I was looking at some of the names. One of them's name was Sucky. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Dakota statue right there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only this the only figure he points facing back. Uh let's see. All right, Mezco. 112, so this is the six inch stuff. Some of it measures up to twelve inches. We've seen some of it before. Yep. It San Diego, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't like that Batman Beyond. The only one I like is the dark side. And you guys said that you like the the Hulk on it. Oh, is this the one with the Hulk in it? The really good one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They got a bunch of different Jokers, too. Oh, like... <clears throat> knocked out. <laughs> I like that. You got all those accessories. Yeah. The Superman. Ugh. The dark side, yeah, that dark side right there. He still looks good. Yeah, he looks good. Like, 2018, uh, I'm getting that sucker. Jack Kirby, dark side. He'll probably be 12 inches. Oh, there you go. But does it have the lucky you on that? Uh, it might hurt if it's maybe a little bit higher, you know, under the shirt, maybe. Ah, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen Ghostbusters. Yeah, so. But those are six inch. These are six inch. It's not look bad. It'll look better than the uh, Diamond Select Toys ones. Yeah. Those jumpsuits look like they're all cloth. Yeah. I, li I like that. I never watched Halloween either. Michael Myers. Or, the, or Evil Dead. You watch Evil Dead? No. Oh, wow. Uh, whenever they came out with a TV show, uh, what was it, a year or two ago, whatever, the first season, I think I watched like maybe one episode or episode maybe and a half, and I was like, nah, not into it. Oh, honestly, if you watch like a couple in, it, it does get better after about four, but 
I think they're on season three now. It, oh, it, it's so funny. It's so good. You need to try and get into it. If you can get past the first season, you're good. I'm, in, yeah, I'm not that interested in it. Oh, oh look at the Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, old school. Yeah. Ah, uh, Star Trek. There's the Hulk. Yeah. That's mm. all right. It can have an interchangeable head. Yeah, yeah it's got the different head. heads. Yeah. yeah, there's that gladiator head. Let's go. Oh, man, and then the, the little the little baby was that she hold Hulk baby. Cool. All right, that's it for that. And this is Storm Collectibles. They really uh made the best use they could out of that mold, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All the colors <laughs> they can get. I didn't even realize there were that many different colors on them. Well, yeah, there, there's smoke. Jeez. Well, I, I mean, like there's smoke, reptile, scorpion, sub zero, but then I I don't know who these. That's are. all I know. That's yeah, all I, mean, know. I, don't I don't know. Only three. I don't know who they are. That's it. Yeah, I, I know f four of them. Uh, Isn't noob one of them or? Oh, dude, I don't know, man. I haven't I haven't played the game so long. There's another one. Twenty years since I played New Mortal Kombat. Okay. That that's cool though. Look at this one with the the blood and then the the head yeah, over here with yeah. the blood and it bursting out there. That's cool. Oh, and some uh some, okay. Which one is that? A uh, katana or Molina? They were the uh, same one. I mean, the same thing. Just different no, color outfits. Well, they were, uh, what if they like, uh, one was the mother or something like that? One was uh, ugly or something. Yeah, once you take her mask, it would be like a, it was like a horse. And, and she then, was uh, horrible looking. Was it Baraka, the one on the left or whatever with the blades? Yeah. yeah. Um, and is it uh, Luke or Johnny? Who's that? Yeah. Johnny Cage. Johnny, Johnny Cage. And who's that? That's, Johnny Cage. Uh, Snake Eyes. Or uh, uh, Storm <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then there's uh, Dragon Goku. <laughs> Dragon Goku's back. <laughs> hey, man. And the best box in the world. Dude, they should come out with, uh, with like, one of the... The faces for Mike Tyson, where he just like he's biting down his teeth and he's got that a chunk ear. of ho holy filled ear in it, his mouth. Mike Tyson came with all of his uh, edible pieces. Look at Hollywood. Brother. <laughs> Oh, um, there's your oh, bearded Luke, Raul, hot Raul, hot <laughs> Raul. That's ridiculous. Oh, and they had some uh the Tomashi Nations uh Street Fighters. They had Raul uh at Toys R Us actually. Oh, was it, was that them? Okay, Tekken, huh? Machine. Haven't played that in so long. Yeah, me neither. 
Tekken 7? Is there even a 7? Jeez. On um, Street Fighter? I, I guess they're really big into the fighting games. I, they seem to be doing pretty nice jobs on them, though. They look pretty nice, all of them. Dude, Chun Li is low yeah. key thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a freaking gymnast, man. Uh, oh, here's that. What I was talking about. So the six inch is a hundred dollars uh, for the six inch figure of Kojima Productions, his logos figure. Any interest? No. No. Kojima. All right, so if you don't want that one, then I know you're into the one six scale stuff. Two hundred and eighty nine dollars. I don't even know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kojima, he did like video. He does like video games and stuff like that, and uh, apparently he left to go off to do his own, like his own stuff now. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, with a little bit more freedom, and so it's he made the company Kojima Productions, and he wanted he made his own little logo. Well, this is the guy on his logo, so now he's you know selling this, I guess. Hmm. Wait, didn't he do the uh, Metal Gear Solid games? Yeah, I believe so. All right, we're we're almost we're almost done. <laughs> Play arts, Kai. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I can't remember this guy's name. It's Final Fantasy, though, right? Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, it looks like some fun. You see, like they got weird hair and huge swords. Then you know it's Final Fantasy. Compensating or something. Suspenders and goggles. A little bit of that steampunk. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Whoa, that's a lot of noise. The Batman's always interests me, but I wouldn't buy them. Looks too busy. There's like too much going on. Yeah, that's kind of how they do. I've got a few of Play Arts Kai stuff. I like that Batman. Who's that? It's like the new Flash. Yeah, but that, that right there, I don't know who that is. All right. All right, some uh, 3 0. You're going to get one six scale leather face. Oh, here we go. And also 3 0. Dude, you see him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, know. my. Point, point. Species. Now, uh, I don't collect very many 1-6 scale figures, but Rick, is, is, were you guys, like, really hard up for, like, hey, remember that Species yeah. movie that wasn't very good that they actually made, like, three of? Oh, we really? were getting a species fig, uh, a species one six scale figure. <laughs> they go in deep. I mean, is, is that kind of the talk in the one six scale community? I don't know nothing about that. Nope. All right. Uh, then you have Star Ace, which is doing some uh, one six scale stuff. 
Ugh. And they're kind of all over the place. With uh, some DC movie, or not movie, but uh, TV shows, the CW stuff. Ugh. And so there's there's your Flash, Harry Potter. I've 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 only sat down to try to watch one Harry Potter movie before, and never finished it. And I haven't even tried any of the other ones. People keep on telling me they're really good, but. And then there's a. Uh... Arrow. Huh. Yeah, I haven't seen these. I don't know if that looks like him. Not really. Hard to tell yet. Need to see it more better. Well, there's a painted one down there. You failed my figure. Yeah, that one probably looks a little bit better with the mask on. What it looks like. Uh, this looks like it's going to have that wiring in it. Hmm. I wonder if that's a new one. I have Star Aces, Lord Voldemort, but I can't tell if that's a new one or it's the same one I have. I think the one I have has the wiring in it, though. Yes, the hot, hottest woman that's ever lived. <laughs> you need that one. Uh, I don't th see. I don't think they're doing them justice, though. Like I saw the Maryland. That doesn't look like her. No, it doesn't. I don't think they're doing them justice. They should let Hot Toys do stuff like that. And Marilyn, she wasn't a skinny girl either. She was a little bit thicker. Yeah. A little, little bit. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic Beasts. I never watched that. I've seen all the Harry Potters, but I, I didn't see that this movie. I didn't see it. Either. Pretty good. Is it? Yeah, they, they've got a whole bunch of sequels planned. Okay. What's up with this dude's face? Does it look like, is his face like sliding off? It looks like that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, 300? <laughs> Man, they're just reaching way back, huh? They must have gobbled up some more licenses. Pulp Fiction. I, I like that he comes with a t-shirt. That's cool. Like, I can see, like, some slight similarities there, but I'm so used to looking at Hot Toys yeah. faces that I'm just like, this is totally off, you know? Yep. And they're still charging Hot Toys prices, you know? So yep. if you're going to charge Hot Toys prices, then I expect Hot Toys quality. Yeah, I agree. Like, if you're going to buy the license and spend the money, you know your product's going to cost more. It's time to hire, you know, the best artist you can find. See, like, I, I, I'm looking at that. I'm like, who is that actress? Look at, uh, yeah, because you like Emma Watson. Uh, Dalton, that doesn't look anything like her, in my what? opinion. Like, didn't, didn't you like her as Beauty or whatever her name, or Belle? Emma Watson. She was fine. Yeah, okay. she was fine as Belle, but, I mean, yeah. it's not the 
greatest person in the world. All right. Damn toys. Good Assassin's Creed. One six scale. I guess this is the movie version. Again, I can see like slightly that I'm like, okay, maybe Michael Fassbender. But again, like the, the head is like if I was to look at a black six inch black series figure or a Marvel Legends, be like, oh, that kind of looks like, you know, that's close enough. Not one six scale, you charge me 200 something dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's basically it for those. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I now need, here's how you do it. I need to go put my pre order in. I like this outfit so much better than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. She's starting to look a little more uh, dark side. Mm hmm. Might end up with a little bad girl in the Star Wars universe. May even get a little tattoo on her, on her butt. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see that picture I posted somewhere where he said, um, uh, what was it? She said, uh, show me the way. He puts his hand out with the picture. She says it. And then it's him in the kitchen. Showing her a kitchen like make me a sandwich, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it's funny. So she comes with those little pork things. And they're gonna are they I thought it might be something that just kind of like pops up maybe for like 15 seconds and then like oh the kids can get a laugh we can sell a crap load of merchandise about you know from it but it they're they're dragging it on to where it looks like this is going to be jar jar binks <laughs> or bb8 i was fine with bb8 because r2 was well, i mean just that as well i mean they're just like over like look at this look at this it's probably going to be on there for like not even a minute i don't know I think it's going to, I think Chewbacca might have one with him for a, a little bit of time. It's a coping mechanism. <laughs> that, that's what people are saying. Does her lightsaber really light up like that? Because that's cool if it does. No. No. Oh, I, at least I don't, I don't think it will. It, Cause I know my color Ren lightsaber down. Uh, well, wait, wait, doesn't it? Some, some of them will come with two arms. Some of them have the yeah. arm with the wiring. Yeah. He does have an arm. Okay. I just, yeah. I don't have it equipped cause it looks weird. Yeah. Sport of missing Jonathan still hanging with us. Appreciate it guys. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. That looks good. Right there. Yeah. You ever undress them, Rick? <laughs> no. <laughs> All business. All business with the one six. Okay, so it looks like there is a little arm here. Yeah, that's cool. So nice. Two more tap oh hang on. Let's get a God man. Who's who, who's batting right now? It's the bottom. Who's bottom of fifth? Bottom, bottom fifth. We got two on. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. A little teaser. Oh, oh damn come on, boy. That's cool. Yeah. And some hot toys. Star Wars, Marvel. You getting that Bubba Fan animated I'm version? I think I'm going to skip it. I got to cut some corners. It's cool. Uh, Jonathan asked, it was Chewy, Chewy CGI and Last Jedi? 
That's a, I mean, they a, they probably did some parts. Yeah, it's a combination. Way. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a combination. Because that's what they did with a lot of them is they use they like to use practical effects and props and stuff, yeah. and then they would go over it and like clean it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Peter Peter Mayhew was still in the costume in some of the scenes, though. Yep. See, they they're missing some accessories with this one. <laughs> they need like little kid arms and legs and stuff like <laughs> at the ground. Little younglings. I lo- I love the armor on these Praetorian guards. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna end up having to get two of those. Damn. <laughs> Oh yeah, those uh, Anavis. I think is that how you say it. Those helmets, man, they're expensive though. You got to pay for them. I'm just gonna keep on collecting these Black Series ones. Uh, they're coming out with a Darth Vader uh, Black Series helmet too. So that the Darth Vader Black Series helmet that'll come out in 2018. Do you like the old man Luke? What the? Which one? This, this one, one here. I don't like this one. The costume, you mean? Or the face, even? Uh, I haven't looked at. It. I mean, I saw the pictures from the show, but I haven't seen like the final, like the it's up for pre-order stuff yet. Uh, it's got a kind of a weird looking face. It's the forehead, and, like the eyebrows don't look right. Yeah. I figured they were using the same one from the one that just came out like a month ago. Did they change it? All right. Yeah, it looks different. Here's that hot ray. <laughs> hot ray for hot Ryu. <laughs> Executioner. Yeah, BB-8, he's going to get his own hot toy. Ninety. Oh, poor, poor little guy fell down. Yeah, they want two twenty eight for the rocket. Wow, it's probably, it might be the one that comes with all the stuff. Yeah, it's that deluxe version. Yeah. Why? Wow. That's a really good head sculpt. That Ghost Rider. That's pretty sweet looking. I like this one too. This movie out. You want next month, right? November. The second. November yeah, third. The... November third, and then the seventeenth is um, uh, Justice League. I wish I could say I'm super excited. I know everybody else is, but I'm excited for Justice League, but I'm not as excited for Thor Hulk. I'm gonna go see it, but uh, I'm going for sure Justice League. But uh, if I do go see Thor. It's going to be off the back of a purchase of another Justice League ticket. (laughs) I'll buy the Justice League ticket, and then I'll go to the Thor movie. Man, that looks just like her. Yeah. All right. And that's that's it. 
So we we made it. <laughs> we yeah, man. Uh, went went almost three hours. So sorry about that being a little bit longer. Uh, no galactic gumbo tonight. Uh, but let's see. Two weeks from now, so on the twenty eighth on Cybercast, we will have Pia on with us. He's going to be talking about you know TFCon, kind of the experience there, and some different stuff like that. I'm going to be working on getting uh, Bold Forms owner designer uh, on. Uh, probably on a, a future Galactic Gumbo to just answer third-party questions and also do a reveal of what their next project is as well. Uh, a few other things like that. And uh, whenever that he comes on, we'll probably have the guys from uh, uh, Near Mint Condition on as well because uh, they said they had some questions. But uh, if you guys are interested in Collection Spotlight uh, in the future, go ahead and take your pictures of your collection and send that in an email to me at g1hextron at gmail.com. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, so, Mike, why don't you tell people where they can find you and you got a show next week? Yeah, uh, you can find me on Twitter as BlackCockFan1978. And you can find me next week on my YouTube channel, Autobot City Toys, T O Y Z, uh, for just another G.I. Joe show where we are still deciding on what the topic will be. But it might be about the, uh, the uh, female Cobra Commander. Ooh. Not very happy with that. Uh, Chris, the Brit, right. he's back. You can find me at the YouTube and the Twitter at uh, the Brit is Prime, minus the accent. What what time is there? Uh, what time is it? It's actually it's only three o'clock. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, oh my! Dalton, what about you, man? I'm Dalton. You can find me everywhere at Daltonians TFs. And Rick. I'm on Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. All right, and you can find me, G1 Extron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pages, the G1 Extron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Oh, uh, next Cybercast <laughs> on the 28th, it's going to start at like 6.30. Uh, Ohio, um, Penn State, Ohio State game is the 2.30 game <laughs> in two weeks. So got to watch that. So anyway, thanks all for watching. Peace.